and welcome to Cheap Joe's Art Stuff. My name is Julie and I'm here to impart some knowledge to you today via a two minute art tip. And today's tip is about a recent experience that I had. I was kind of perusing the internet and like reading articles and I came across this word and they were actually talking about uh, brushwork and paint mixing techniques and they referred to a technique called grisaille. And I was like, I, I don't know what that is. <laughs> like, I don't, I've never heard that word in my life, you know? So I was like, it's time to, time to dig out the books and get on some Google and figure this out. And so apparently grisaille comes from a French root word, the root word for gray or the French word gris. And what it's talking about is actually paintings executed in shades of gray. So you're doing a very, very reductive palette where everything is executed in tones of black and white and, and, and dark gray and stuff like that. It's intended kind of thing was like a mostly a decorative purpose to kind of imitate the look of sculpture and stuff like that. But in reading more and more about it, there's also interesting kind of variations on this theme where grisaille kind of expands out and it can be paintings that rely solely on reductive palettes of brown, which is called brunei. And then also um, green, which is called verdi. And um, so I was kind of curious and started thinking, I was like, well, I haven't like not done the exact same thing. Um, I have several pieces that are kind of that very, very reductive palette where it's brought down to like browns and grays and stuff like that. I've done that several times and got some examples here for you. So it's interesting to find out there's a word that goes along with those kind of techniques. And I encourage you that when you're like reading and learning and trying to expand your art knowledge, if there is a word that you absolutely just are like, I have no idea what you're talking about, is spend some time and like dig in and learn about those kinds of things. It may be the spark of inspiration that sets you off on a new path, or you may just get a little bit of understanding about like some of the stuff that you've done has been around for hundreds of years and that technique is not new. Check into those kinds of things when you find them. They can be a very, very interesting um, path to learn from. So we hope that you enjoy. 